Welcome to the Colin First Tunnel Project where I am digging a secret underground tunnel from my shed to my house and eventually onto the bunker in my back garden. Now if you like the sound of any of that, subscribe. This is an awesome project. Now this is video two. In the last video we chopped the floor up and we put in our secret entrance. Now as you're probably thinking, this is an expensive and a time consuming project but we have a sponsor in Free Trade. So if you want to grow your wealth rather than your shed space, there's more about them later. Right. We need to dig. Right, so I've got a load more tubs, so hopefully get a bit more out this time. That's got through the base, we're now into actual soil. But I know what you're thinking, where are we going to put all this? I have a plan. You fill these bags with the dirt from the tunnel. Then. Wearing them inside your trousers, you wander out into the compound. All you have to do is kick it in. Unless you're a complete fool, the ferrets will never see a thing. One problem I have got is I've not got a lot of room to swing my spade around with. So, bought a new spade, I'm going to chop it down six inches and do the same with a shovel. It's even got its own little toolkit. Oh! Oh! Right, dig four, let you commence. <laughs> now, I've been digging this hole with loud music on so no one can hear the sound of me digging. But tonight, Tom wants to come and help me and I thought it would be a bit weird if two people were in the shed with really loud music on because we wouldn't be able to talk to each other. So, to cover the noise tonight, it's band practice night. <laughs> hey Tom? <laughs> This is getting hard work this bit. Now, as we're getting a little bit deeper, things are starting to get a lot harder. Now, under normal circumstances, a spade, a pickaxe, or a jackhammer, all perfectly fine, but it's all high impact. It's gonna make a noise, can't do it. So, we need a quiet system 
of moving stuff. 240 volt hydraulic pump, big fat hydraulic cylinder. Fix this on the end of it. Right, I'm not gonna explain too much, just gonna build it. Right, that's got us sorted, nice and solid. Now I shall stick a handle on it once I've got all the hydraulic hoses and stuff mounted. But before that, I've got to sort my pump out. I'm gonna shove it under here. Uh, it's a good excuse, basically, to tidy all this rubbish up. There's still bits of Christmas tree under here from the Undecor 500C. Oh, look at that, look. I mean, that, that's a fit, that is. Cable will come out there. Thingy will come out there. Yes, 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 let's bolt it down. Now we've got power! Right, I think this system is going to work. I've tidied it up a little bit. I've reduced the length of the hydraulic hoses on the ram, and also I've installed these little uh, gate valve things, these little lever valves, so I can swap between the ram and this wedgie thing, whatever you want to call it is. Also, we haven't got, I say we haven't got hydraulic hoses and cables everywhere. Well, look, I still have got hydraulic hoses and cables everywhere. It doesn't do digging down particularly well, but it does force the rest of the muck into the hole quite well, which is a lot easier than chucking your spade in. Like literally scrape the surface off. This this is solid rock. You whack in the pickaxe in and it's like doom doom doom. It is one big plate. So I think now we've actually hit the limestone seam. I was kind of hoping it would be a bit deeper than this because the bunker at the bottom, although we hit it there, the garden slopes down a bit. So I was hoping that the limestone would be a bit leveler and then this would just be, well, whatever all this is, just nonsense on top of it. So Neighbours are away today, they're coming back tomorrow. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to get the big breaker in here, smash as much of this up as possible, because that's gonna be really difficult to do with anyone else in, because let's face it, that's gonna make a lot of noise. It's blooming exciting this is. This, this is the perfect first project. Right, something quite remarkable has happened. I'm digging down, look, I'm getting quite deep, and all of a sudden, I like felt a draft, and I'm like, where's that draft coming from? There's a little crack down here. I can get my fingers right underneath there. If you put this, look, there's literally a draft coming out of it. Come on, wind, if the wind blows outside, it, look, there you go. I don't know where that crack goes to, but it obviously must be connected to outside somewhere. Are we going to have some secret cave? That could save us a lot of digging. <laughs> the crack's getting deeper. That might even be the depth we need to go. Here we 
go, corner's all nice and square. Next thing you want to do is put some framework around the outside, A, to stop any collapses, but also we definitely know we're digging vertical, level, horizontal, everything, so we don't wander off and we end up with like some school with tunnel. <laughs> It's middle of September now, so we're nearly, what, two and a half months away or something from it being a year old? Well, that's the chassis in, it's nice and solid. Got these little pins in here in the corners to help it in. Put a bit of mesh up and just keep digging. Okay, here we are, we're down to maximum depth. We've got all the mesh on the wall, we've got all the framing on the wall. But it's actually April 2021 now, a whole year and three months has passed since I properly come down here and actually did any work on this, because of course, there's been COVID and all that malarkey, and I would normally work on it when the neighbors are out or are on holiday. Of course, they've not been anywhere, and I want to get on with it, basically. So next video, we need to start going sideways, but I want to do it in complete silence. So I'm not disturbing anyone, and it's not causing any issues. So similar to how we had the hydraulic things, I need to make that, but go sideways, and then we need to bring the motor, all the operating system for that, down here, so you can't hear anything, basically. So that's the next video. I'll see you there, subscribe. This is getting excited. <laughs>